Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV ITW Extra, powered by JSA, coming to you live today from the floor of ITW in National Harbor. I'm excited to introduce you to Sunil Gupta, co-founder and CEO of Yoda Data Services. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. It's great. We were just saying it's been a, a little while since we've chatted. Yes. Um, and we're excited to hear more about you know some of the developments uh, sure. with Yoda. But for some of our viewers who may have missed you the first time or two we chatted with you, tell us a little bit about uh, your company. Sure. Uh, Yota is a managed data center hosting uh, cloud and IT services provider from India. We are headquartered in Mumbai and we have campuses in uh, Navi Mumbai. We have campus in uh, Noida, which is near Delhi. And we have upcoming campuses in other cities in India like uh, Chennai, like Calcutta, uh, like Pune, like uh, Gujarat, uh, like in uh, proper Mumbai city, and also a campus coming up in uh, Dhaka in Bangladesh. Wow, so I mean, it's just, hearing all of these different uh, places that you currently exist and are expanding. I mean, the, the market I know in India is just taking off. So can you tell, tell us a little bit about what's going on in the data center industry in India? Yes. I tell you, uh, the whole industry in India started uh, somewhere in late 90s or early 2000s. That is when India, you know, internet came in our lives and the industry was growing slowly because most of the customers were enterprise customers who were migrating from their captive data centers to third-party data centers for obvious reasons. Uh, somewhere around 2009-10, cloud started coming in our lives. People started getting familiar with cloud. We also started getting 4G broadband in, uh, in, in India. And uh, that is the something which started a startup wave in India. We started getting a lot of e-commerce companies and we started getting content companies in India. Uh, and I think that was the time when clouds of, uh, you know, the CSP cloud service operators decided, Amazon, Azure, Google, that if they want to serve this big market called India, they can no more serve it from an uh, APEC node or a Europe node. They will have to come and set up their nodes in India and only then they can serve Indian better. And that's what happened. So this is a big changeover which has happened in the Indian market. 2013, 14, they started searching out for, uh, you know, hosting options in India. And 2015, when... You know, Amazon first went live and within within six months uh, later, Azure went live and within six months later, Google went live. And of course, you had Chinese operators like Tencent, Alibaba, all that, all that came in. And by the time, you know, we delivered capacity to Amazon, I knew that, uh, you know, and to others, you know, the first one came up with the revised, uh, uh, you know, uh, their, their, their extra, uh, you know, uh, requirement of capacity. And, and this is something which the market is uh, going through today. Uh, every single day uh, from a market of just about 200 megawatt which it was in 2014 today the market already has a built-up capacity of 800 megawatt we have already exceeded some of the very mature markets in terms of the absolute capacity and all the projections based on various tailwinds and based on uh, you know many other factors we see that the Indian market is going to go about uh, 3000 megawatt in the next five years uh, so whether it is the uh, the demand side factors in terms of, uh, you know, the, the enterprise demand, in terms of the hyperscaler demands, in terms of the content being pushed because of the 5G uh, introduction in India, because of the e-commerce wave, the fantastic uh, startup ecosystem, because of a lot of use cases of AI, ML and IoTs, uh, because of so much of drive from the Indian government, which itself is not only pushing the policy narrative for data centers and cloud, but also it itself is a big consumer for IT. All these things are leading to, uh, I would say, huge, crazy growth ecosystem in India. And that is where this uh, supply provider, the supply ecosystems in terms of not only the existing operators like a entity, CFI, controllers, who were the existing uh, providers who are scaling up. Uh, but you have now more than 10 new operators, the global operators who have come either they're trying to build up organically by acquiring land or they're trying to acquire uh, the small Indian providers and then trying to grow up. Um, so it's all happening at the same time. We as Yota also, uh, you know, I grew up from the same system. I was like running Reliance's business for 10 years. Then I ran Entities business in India for 10 years. And then uh, because of this growth, I somewhere felt that if you really want to capture this big, exciting market called India, uh, the only way you can do it is when you have resources in your hand. You know, you need resources and you need skill sets. You need to have a combination of both. And so the promoter of Yota is a big real estate company in India called Hiranandanis. 
uh, it's their it's their own equity which they are put in and so so what it has given to us is that we have access to huge land parcels in the right markets we have in house capabilities to uh, do all the approvals and permitting uh, and licensing we have uh, uh, you know construction capabilities we do our own mep design and engineering we do our own project management and then we run our own operations uh, and uh, because uh, um, i had uh, a, a, a 20 years background on handling enterprises besides hyperscalers so instead of just focusing on uh, uh, wholesalers uh, you know the the, the uh, either a built to suit or a wholesale co location we have gone into retail co location so i serve enterprises as much as i serve hyperscalers and we have expanded right from day one into managed services so i have run my own public cloud i deliver public cl uh, private clouds uh, i do federated cloud services where i give a solution around hyperscale clouds as well as my own cloud i provide cyber security and uh, you know network services and i provide application services so essentially what i'm trying to do in a nutshell in a competitive market like this a growing market like this you can see opportunities one is throughout hyperscalers to give them bulk capacity scalable capacity through your campuses but at the same time you see a vast ecosystem of enterprises who want to consume the things on a as a service model so i'm trying to address both the markets right and so specific i mean wow you've given us a great overview on first of all the all of the amazing uh, development that's being that we're witnessing in India and the 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 growth in general of of the market and what's driving that um, but not only that how you're supporting it through yep. your services at, at Yoda so you know just to sort of hone in on one of those elements I know that that recently uh, you have a project the Yoda D1 yep. uh, in greater no Noida. Yeah. I went live in October. Can you tell us about that and how that's that's an important thing that you're doing specifically to service yes, the growth yes. in this Yes, yes. Uh, I started uh, you know Yota operations in 2020 at the peak of covid with our campus in Navi Mumbai and uh, that campus is live for two and a half years and I've got a lot of enterprise customer besides the mid rung cloud operators who are running from there and I provide uh, colo and managed services there uh, and and frankly speaking my my next growth path and the next campus would have been chennai because that is the next city which is uh, uh, where the, the international fiber uh, cables land in india uh, but i got a opportunity from a large hyperscale cloud operators who wanted to grow in north of india in delhi and uh, a option was given to me that sunil while uh, you're working in Mumbai and other cities, but can you expedite your plans for Delhi? And if you do that, and if everything is okay, we possibly can come in as an anchor customer, and that's what exactly happened. Uh, so we, uh, right at the peak of COVID, I can tell you, um, and this is like a, a fable story I'll be telling to my kids in future, that uh, uh, I nobody might have purchased a large land parcel without even physically visiting the land even once, because it was a peak of COVID, and we just got a drone shooting done from a local cameraman and uh, we saw uh, it looked all okay. Uh, thankfully, there was a whole lot of support from the local state government because they wanted a project like ours to come into their state. And we bought the land. It was a fantastic land. Uh, you won't believe the way our guys have delivered in the peak of COVID despite a lot of lockdowns. In 18 months sharp, from the time the land was allocated to us, to all the governmental approvals, to all the feasibilities, to getting uh, two power express feeders, to getting fiber routes, to making one large 30 megawatt building with a supporting utility building, a substation, a administrative building. All this we had done in 18 months. Uh, in uh, early October 2022, we went live with our first building. And uh, right now, our Anchor customer is live there. They have already occupied almost 60% of the capacity and they have got a ROFR for the balance capacity. I'm also serving enterprises from there. So it, it's true to our philosophy, we serve hyperscalers and enterprises. Yeah. So a lot of enterprises have come and delivering cloud and managed service also from there. And uh, as we speak, uh, my second building is already under construction there because the same Anchor customer wants to have more and more. And as enterprise ecosystems start getting built up, even they will keep on growing and keep on demanding more and more scalability. So this campus, uh, just to introduce, the, again, I took a campus approach instead of just going for one building. Uh, so I can build in this campus six data center buildings, uh, each building roughly about 30 megawatts. So this campus, when it's totally fully constructed and live, will have about 180 megawatt of uh, load with, uh, with uh, a mix of uh, wholesale uh, hyperscale customers as well as enterprise customers. So as we sit here, I mean, you mentioned a few times um, just, you know, 
having services and connectivity to to support U.S. organizations yes. and, of course, hyperscalers. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, I think it goes without saying that you're you're set up to service that. The market yep. uh, in India is set up to, to do that as well. Yes. Just maybe final words on mm -hmm. that, and and then of course, since we're sitting here in yep. the United States, if anyone yep. of the organizations that are are here today or this week or beyond, if they want to connect with you and find more information, how sure. will they do that? Sure. So, so um, uh, you can be in touch with uh, me. My name is Sunil Gupta. My email ID is sgupta at yota.com. My mobile number is plus nine one double seven three eight one four eight seven eight seven. My website is www.yota.com. All the information is available on our website. We are very, very active on LinkedIn. We are available on Instagram. We are available on Facebook. We are available on Twitter. And uh, yes, um, my Mumbai data center is in a special economic zone, which essentially means that I can uh, I can handle all the global customers, including U.S. customers, and you can pay me, contract with me in dollars. You don't have to pay any custom duties. You don't have to pay any GST. There's a whole lot of other commercial benefits available, and that actually makes me uh, a very large economies of scale provider who can give you a price points which is at least 15 to 20 percent lesser than the normal markets available because of again the taxation benefits as well as the economies of scale uh, uh, repeating i am not only giving you uh, wholesale co-location or a build to suit uh, co-location options i give retail co-location uh, we have gone through the most stringent parameters of whether it is hyperscalers or the largest uh, us based or global based commercial uh, large banks uh, or other banking uh, services companies. Uh, uh, I have got certifications. Not only I'm, by the way, uptime tier four, the only company and possibly rare companies in the world who are running a data center, which is uptime tier four, designed, uh, constructed, as well as uh, I also have TCOX, which is the uh, gold operation certification of uptime for my data centers. So we are extremely quality conscious. We are providing huge scalability in our campuses. We are not only offering wholesale colo and BTS, but we are also offering a full suite of managed services, including cloud and cyber security and application services. So for anything you want in India, uh, Yota is available. Uh, I'll be more than happy to be in touch with you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So great to, to hear from you and, and learn a little bit more about Yoda. And I know that many of our viewers will be looking to connect. And I hope you have a really great and successful week here at, at ITW. Thank you so much. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to this latest episode of JSA TV, brought to you live today from the floor of ITW at National Harbor. Until next time.